So the Kamai Barn is a uh, Kamai Barn is a disaster right now, and we're gonna uh, clean it up real quick. Uh, had a load of three three-way mix come in this morning on a hopper. Um, I haven't had time to sweep it in or anything yet, so <clears throat> we'll shovel in the feed, and then I got the rubber tire hooked up to the 6410. It's just uh, a little frame that we made so we can slide the forks through uh, and pick up the rubber tire, and we we'll use it to. Um, that rubber tire we just used to uh, scrape off the concrete at the Kamai barn, uh, whether just trying to help push in feed or, uh, you know, if it rains or something like that to just, you know, just keep a clean concrete slab here. So uh, we'll get started on that. barn drives me crazy and brought the dumpster in here instead of having to carry uh, feed sacks all the way out and around so
that's our dry cow mineral. That's our heifer mineral. And then we just got medicated calf mineral that we put in the calf feed. Um, we usually get a ton at a time, which is one pallet. So um, we're running out of dry cows. Uh, we got like 40 days left and we'll be done calving. And then uh, heifer lasts about a month, month and a half. And then the medicated calf usually lasts like two months. Um, and then we got five totes full of milk cow that we'll dump in here. So and that lasts about a month. We'll, uh, uh, first I'm going to clean this up and then we'll get that dumpster out of here and then I'll put the pallet forks on. So now I'll get that medicated calf in and then uh, dump them totes. We normally put cottonseed in this bay. Um, we always put calf feed in here, up here in the front, and then we usually have cottonseed in the back. But while we graze winter pasture, we finally figured out last year that um, if we feed cottonseed while we graze winter pasture, it depresses our butter fat, which makes no sense because you would normally feed cottonseed to help your butter fat. But, uh, the saturated fat or the unsaturated fat or just the oil and the cottonseed mixed with the juicy winter pasture uh, depresses butter fat. So we used to, uh, this, we actually had a nutritionist and with him we would run, uh, when we were really grazing grass, we would run a 3-2, 3-3 butter fat, which is horrible. And uh, we, uh, we always fed cottonseed, like four pounds of the cow cottonseed. And then somebody told me that, and then uh, we cut back to two pounds and, and kept a little more baleage and started percentage, percentage feeding the cows. And uh, uh, we were running three fives, three sixes, which is, it's okay. It's not too bad. And then we decided to go ahead and just take cottonseed completely out, which it's uh, the last load I bought. Our last load we bought in October, into November, it was uh, $205 a ton delivered. So taking it out, I mean, it's, um, you know, wasn't gonna hurt nothing trying it. And so we took it out, started grazing. Uh, it actually worked out perfect where we ran out of cottonseed and we started grazing about the same time. And we were able to maintain our butter fat. Right now our butter fat at 70, 71 pounds of milk average, you know, milking twice a day, our butter fat is a 395, 398 average. So uh, while we don't have any cottonseed, I'm putting mineral in here instead of having to carry one toad at a time and dumping it out in another bay. I, I would really love to build a new commodity barn and have eight bays, but right now I'm just stuck with the four bays. Um, so we're going to get this dumpster out now and then uh, start carrying totes in here.
So I normally have feed put out uh, right around lunchtime for the night or the afternoon milking. And uh, but I had a sales salesperson come by uh, for supplies, and I, had, I talked to him for a little while and did a few other things. And I was out of milk cow mineral, so I wanted to dump a tote of milk cow mineral out so I could get some for tonight. And so now they're uh, they just started milking. They've already let one side out, and I'm mixing up feed. So, uh, get feed mixed up here and then finish dumping those totes out. So right now we're make, we're milking 614 cows, and uh, I can't hold I can't hold that in the wagon for 614 cows. Um, so what I do is. Uh, split it 50 50 so I mix up beef for 307 cows and then I go put that out uh, usually it's it'll be like all of all of all of group one's feed gets put out first then um, just a hair over half of group two's feed and then I come back and uh, mix up another load Go finish group two's feed off and then uh, park it with group three and group four's feed in the wagon still. And then uh, whoever's working the feed lane runs those off when they're uh, after the group one and group two leave. So, yeah. So, way, the way it works is we have the feed lane and you have basically three alleys. The center alley is where the feed wagon drives and dumps feed out have you know a, a alley on the left and an alley on the right and uh, that's where the cows go and then so um, group one group one comes in the barn first and we have a double 15 parallel barn so when they exit you know when they raise the stalls up and those cows walk out they walk out 15 at a time and they go uh, they walk straight up to the feed lane when they get to the feed lane, uh, we have the headlock set to lock, and then the cows stick their head in, they start eating, and they, they lock themselves up. <clears throat> and so, the reason we do that is, uh, like group one and group two, right now they have uh, about 180 cows in those two groups. And so it takes uh, anywhere from an hour and a half to two hours to milk that group uh, so so that every cow has a has their fair shot at feed we lock them up and um, what that does is um, what that does is so the first cows in can't eat at the front of the feed lane and then walk down and just keep cherry picking their way down and are eating more than they're supposed to um, and then that way the cows at the end of the group that get milked uh, you know they're not getting what's left over or, or getting less than what they were supposed to uh, what we do is <clears throat> there's four sections uh, we can hold 205 cows on a side yeah so there's four sections that first 50 the next 50 the third third 50 set and then the last the fourth set has 55 in it um, so what we can do when the cows come in they the whole group gets locked up and then um, uh, once the last cow of the group the last cow to be milk of that group gets out there and gets locked up we'll unlock the first 50 then they can go get water come back and eat or move you know maybe for whatever reason they're still hungry they move to a different hole and continue eating and then after about five or ten minutes we'll unlock the other 50 same thing they can go get water uh, during that time the gates are already set up for uh, for them to go back you know to, then for them to exit the feed lane and walk down the lane to their wherever they're going whether it's going to graze or whatever so the, those first 50 cows will, some of them will run down to the end and, and see if they can find an empty hole uh, to continue eating. Um, and then 
some will just walk right on out. You know, we'll open the gate at the end of the feed lane and they'll just walk out and walk to whatever field they're going to. Um, and then there's there's four sets of feed trough or four sets of water troughs on each side of the feed lane. Uh, so there's plenty of water. Um, you know, they can get uh, they can get all the water that they want before they leave the feed lane. So as that, those first first two sets of 50 cows <coughs> are drinking water and leaving and, and everything like that, then every, you know the next five ten minutes we'll unlock the third one, the third set, or maybe just go ahead and unlock the the last two, the third and the fourth set of, of headlocks, and then the cows can freely move around and and uh, you know move uh, move to a different hole if they want to or go get water or whatever, and then. Um, and then while that's going on, the group two is already group two has already been brought to the barn, and um, they are starting to fill up on the other side. And then um, before group three comes to the before group two is done and group three comes to the barn, group one will be gone. Uh, they'll be out in their pasture, and then um, so like then whoever's working the feeling will go run off the feed for group three and then you know go close group one go close the gates on group one or whatever uh and then you know push be pushing feed for group two and then when group two's done and group three starts coming in same thing unlocking you know unlock the first 50 then the next 50 and then unlock the third and fourth and then and other cows are leaving the feed lane and um uh, and the same thing when the fourth group comes in um, in the mornings it's a little different with the dry cows uh, and close-ups and stuff like that coming. Uh, it's a little hard to explain, but... Uh. You see there's a cow side. So there's a cow side of the feed lane. There's center and then group one. There's uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. There's two sides out so far. Only 30 cows. Um, so, the rest of them are in the barn.
Well, still have to load one more load, put it out, and then I still got to dump uh, four more totes of mineral. So, uh, and then go do whatever else has got to be done. So, I'm going to wrap the video up here. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll, uh, we'll see you on the next video.